here coming at you with the very last character update video for this expansion. I decided to do another one for you guys. Some of you guys have been asking for it. And well, here it is guys. A update. What has happened since last time, since my last character update video? Gosh, I don't even remember. But I guess I could go through some of the things that has been happening lately. Well, obviously, we got all of the shared uh, achievements. We got the shared achievement system, mounts, pets, and etc. And uh, that meant my character got a few more achievement points. I think this character got like 200 more achievement points. It's not even that much. I haven't been playing on my other characters that much. And as you probably can tell, guys, I got the Bloodthirsty title. I only had 220 something thousand on a kills on this character but if you combined all of my other characters I actually had way more than that 274 thousand I think yeah so still the same gear as last time as you probably can tell still cataclysmic gear and actually I got an, I got some new protection gear but not much uh, I haven't been doing that much PvE in this patch as you probably know guys I've been t kind of taking a break from doing all the raiding but that is gonna be changing very soon in fact my guild 33 has become active again and we're gonna be raiding and we're still looking for new people to join so if you're interested well feel free to uh, make an application but more about that later or you can actually watch the video I made a few days back I'll leave a annotation for you guys so you can watch it if you're interested. My protection gear has got a small upgrade, not a very big one. I just bought all the uh, val uh, all the valor point gear that eventually became justice points gear. All the gear kind of became downgraded, so you could buy it easier. That's what I did. So I got some new protection gear, and yeah, that's about it. Not much. It's like some fire lines gear, actually a PVP weapon. Don't, don't, please don't ask me about the PvP weapon. Uh, it's like fire lines gear together with some justice points gear. Might be something for raid fight, I don't know. But it is gonna change in feed. I'm gonna be tanking I'm in Mist of Pandera, so you guys can expect a lot more PvE and a lot more tanking videos and uh, raid videos and etc. More fun, more different stuff. So, on the gear port, I've changed a lot, right? <laughs> I actually haven't changed that much. But, uh, yeah. Today I also got my very last reputation. I know I've been slacking, but I got my very last reputation. I currently got... Let me actually show this to you guys. I currently got all possible reputation in the game. I got 62 reputations out of the 62 that is currently possible. And of course I'm gonna try to get the uh, title here to get 70 reputations to exalt it. But more about that later, that's first gonna happen sometime in Mist of Pandaria. A few other things that happened is that my luck with mounts, items and etc. has been extremely insane as of late. You guys probably seen my other videos, but for those who haven't, well, I just, as you guys know, I just recently got the two Warglaves. And it actually happened that I got the Warglave on a Tuesday. The, uh, the offhand walkglaive and then I got the main hand walkglaive the day afterwards so that was like a reset in between and we did two black temples two days in a row and got both of the uh, so uh, both of the blades which is pretty awesome unfortunately I can't use them only if I go into fury spec and right now I'm like protection and arms but uh, you can see here this is like my weapon right here it's pretty awesome to to run around with and then later on I actually ended up doing like uh, getting a couple of mounts not a couple I actually got three mounts I got the Raven Lord I got the Raven Lord actually I, I got the Seth uh, Magister Terrace mount first then a few days afterwards I got the Raven Lord and uh, let me just find it here so you guys can actually see I guess it would be a little bit more, more interesting to see the actual mount raid. Um, unfortunately, I really wish you could like search through all of your mounts. I got currently I got 109 mounts uh, on my other character, on my paladin, and my warlock. I got 111, and I actually my guild got to level 25 today. So I guess that means we, my guild can I can actually buy another mount. 
So huge congratulations to my own guild uh, getting to 25. That only took like forever, considering we did create this guild in the start of Cataclysm. So here it is. First, I got the Magus to Terrace mount. I did that shortly after the 24 hour livestream. Well, actually, at the end of the 24 hour livestream. Then, a few days later, I got the Raven Lord mount. And then we did, and the day after I got my Raven Lord mount, me, Karugi, and some Hunter ended up doing a Vault of Orcheron, in which I did get the. Uh, Darn it, it's actually hard searching through all your mounts here. Grand Black War Mammoth, which is like 1.3% drug chains to drop. And it actually dropped first time I ever see that, and I was fortunate enough to see it dropping. So I pretty much got like three, three rare mounts within six days. A few days afterwards, I did a Molten Coal run. And inside that Molten Coal run, I ended up getting the binding for the Windseeker. Right here. The legendary. I think I got the left or the right binding. I can't remember. Either one of them. Ended up getting this weapon, which is pretty cool. But what was even more awesome was I actually ended up getting the other legendary too. The Sulphurus Hand of Ragnaros in the same run. So my luck has been extremely insane as of late. Yep. So that's what's been happening on my warrior. I got to 62 reputations, got some new mounts, got some new uh, cool legendaries. I got a small upgrade in my protection gear. Uh, not that it's gonna matter. I did, and I did get about 200 achievement points more because we combined my other characters. Feeder strengths, well, you can see it right here. Did get my private, my knight lieutenant, my sergeant title, my competitors tappered from my. I get did get all of those feet of strings from my other characters. I think that's about it. It sounds about right. Yeah. So that's been uh, that's what's been happening on this character really. Uh, I guess I could show you guys. Uh, currently, I got I've done a total of three thousand. 397 daily quest out of the 10,000 achievement. I'm not sure if it's a achievement I want to do later on. I really don't know because I don't like daily quest. And in terms of gold looted, I've been looting 76,836 gold out of 200,000 gold. This achievement on the other hand is actually a achievement I would like to do. I just gotta do some more raiding and maybe some grinding outside the raiding, right? For those who wanna know, I got 109 mounts on this character. I got, according to this, I got 142 pets. But I think the more accurate would actually be to go in here to general and find pets somewhere in here. At least I know I got over a hundred pets. I thought that was actually an achievement something in here. You can see it in here. Uh, wealth. It doesn't matter guys. I got over 100 pets, over 100 mounts. And that's the important part. So what's been happening on my other characters? Well, let me just show you guys. I'm just gonna log out for a moment here. Most of you guys already know it if you've been following along with my videos. But I like to treat these kind of videos as kind of an update video. For those of who might not be able to watch every single one of my videos. Or my live streams for that matter. My Warlock. I just recently did a 24 hour live stream. Ended up doing about 74 battlegrounds in a row. And eventually got my Warlock geared up. So my Warlock is, gonna, is currently full cataclysmic gear. And he actually got 6,000 on kills now. And I've been making a few videos on him. And there's probably going to be way more PvP videos in the future on this guy. So he got full Cataclysmic gear. And... Yeah. I, I'm still missing some enchants. So I really just wanted to gear this character up. Because I wanted to try play a Warlock. Uh, I wanted to have some fun. I wanted to try play a ranged character and etc. You guys know I'm a huge altaholic, but I've never really been good at focusing on multiple characters. Last time I did that was back in Wrath of the Lich King. 
so it's about freaking time I do it again. Sorry about the language, but I promised myself in Mist of Pandaria I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be playing more than just one character, and you guys are gonna see more than just one character in multiple aspects. PvE, PvP, and all kind of stuff, basically. And also, I promised you guys I would continue on my Let's Play series. I'm gonna be leveling this Warlock. Continuing from where I left off, this warlock is going to be leveled from 85 to 90 in the good old style. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it is going to happen at some point. So that is one thing you guys can look forward to if you haven't seen my series yet. You can always go back and watch it, or you can just catch up to it whenever I'm going to continue on it. Uh, what else has been happening? Well, I still have all the different characters here. I got, currently got 12 characters at level 85 um, on multiple servers. Outlined, we got. A, I actually leveled a 46 warrior and a 4200, still the same guy. I can give you guys a quick tour around all of my characters. Really haven't happened that much on these characters. As I say, I'm an alcoholic. I like leveling. I level quite a lot, actually. I used to. Um, I haven't actually been leveling that much in Cataclysm compared to what I did in Wrath of the Lich King. But still been leveling more than most people have, I would imagine. So, quite a lot of characters. Just going through them right now, right here. So you can... So you guys can, like, see what I got on the different servers. Uh, what are my plans regarding Mist of Pandaria? Well, I'm gonna be raiding again. I'm gonna be do continue on doing PvP. And, uh, of course, there's going to be more, much more interaction with my guild. You guys will probably notice that throughout my upcoming videos, live streams, and etc. I'm going to get back into tanking, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to be tanking raiding again. That's going to be great fun. Of course, I'm going to be leveling a monk, too. I'm going to be leveling it from level 1 to 90. I'm not sure what is going to happen from time to time. Perhaps on the live stream. At least I'll get let you guys know more about that in the future. So that was like a quick carrot update video. Really wasn't containing that much, but I just wanted to show you guys where I am at the moment now that we've finished up Cataclysm. <sighs> For those of you who wanna know who wanna know, I have played a total of 238 days on this character. And I've been playing 95 days, 18 hours in this level. So, I've actually been pretty decent, decently active on this character. I got a lot of honor kills in this expansion. I got over 120,000 honor kills. Let's see. I got 100,000 honor kills somewhere in be the beginning of this expansion. And currently, I am sitting at 222,721 on the kills. So that's quite a lot. Just gonna show you guys as the very last thing. I'm gonna show you guys all of my reputations that I got to Exalted. All reputations that are currently possible. You can see them right here. And of course, I will be going for the new reputation achievement, which is gonna be... 70 reputations to Exalted. I only need 8 more in order to get that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's going to be way more videos in the future. And last but not least, I want to know guys, what are you guys pro gonna, what are you guys going to do in Mist of Pandaria? What is the first thing you're going to do and how have you prepared for Mist of Pandaria? I want to know, what is the first thing you're going to do? What have you been preparing? Have you taken days off work? Are you going to play together with your friends? Are you going to put up a LAN party? I personally am. I'm going to put up a LAN party with my friends. I'm going to move my computer to my friend's house and we're going to play quite a lot. Unfortunately, that means I'm not going to be live streaming, but I'm going to have great fun. So, see you guys all in Mist of Pandaria. Bye guys.